Hey there, fellas and ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. <laughs> Welcome to our... Welcome to the show! <laughs> this is our pizza competition segment featuring me, Myrna, and... Me, 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 I'm gonna show you the pizza motion. What's your name? Oh, Charles right over here, you know what it is. Yes, sir. And some wine, because why not? It's a Saturday night. Yes, sir. You know I got the extra big glass, but I ain't got time for that clingy, clingy. Ding. Still clinging. Uh. All right, so what we're gonna do today, we are gonna make some pizza, and we're gonna see which one turns out better. So I already made the homemade dough. It already, this is mine, this is his. Oh God. You are already. <laughs> no, 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 no. He drops no, it. You got no. it. <laughs> and I called it. Y'all got that on the camera? Yes, yeah, sir. Now you know who the dope champion is. No champion is. That's too much. All right. Okay, so <laughs> my pizza is gonna be with some mussels, garlic, um, some onions or not onions. Sorry. Mussels, garlic, pistachios, mozzarella, sun dried tomatoes, and that's probably going to be about it. What's some tomato sauce? That's it. Mine, I got what I got. Pepperonis, brought to you by yours truly. Don't know who, who it is. Deets and Watson, shout out. And then some mods, shredded off the block. Put it with some mushrooms and black olives, and that's it for me. Call it a day. Mm -hmm. Light on the sauce, extra on the cheese, you feel me? About the meat. I know. Oh, the meat. Yeah, Probably gonna use the majority of them. Let's Probably check it out and see. <laughs> but let's see if it's gonna get. Oh, we already lined the pans up. It's gonna be like a kind of a rectangle pizza because the circles isn't gonna fit everything in one time. Okay. So, yeah. Right back here. It's the line pans. Oiled. Oiled much? Mm hmm. Alright, I got this. Oh, I forgot to grab the other one. It's in the drawer. I don't even need that. I know this. I know this motion. <laughs> Seen it on. Ratatouille. Oh Damn, Ratatouille. <laughs> you do this. Mm. Oh my God. Probably like, dang, hey, you know what he's doing. <laughs> I've watched too many cooking shows in my life <laughs> to not know. Yeah, this is giving me like super anxiety. <laughs> Well, I got a hole and I got a patch. <laughs> you saw so, that? Uh -huh. Pizza making, buddy. So we're gonna pause it for one minute. We're gonna roll it out and then we're gonna be right back. <laughs> ah. <laughs> this, this is mine. Square style. Doing a crust. I Mine just looks like a ooh, stuffed crust. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I do the fresh mods? Yeah, fresh mods. This is what is going to make the pizza fuego fire is this stuffed crust. So then when I win, she's going to be like, I was the one who told you to do that. This crust can't be extra skimpy, you know what I'm saying? You ain't going to get a pizza from Pizza Hut or something. And some of the crust ain't as stuffed. You'll be blown. All right. So now I'm gonna yeah, roll it. Stretch it, out. Mm. stretch it out, roll it back, she says. She's either giving. Oh, it is, like this, babe. Mm. Otherwise, the cheese is not even gonna hold anything. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> she is correct. I do stand corrected. As y'all might start to learn is, I love accents, I love making them up, I love acting like I know what I'm talking about, but it's just all part of the fun, you know what I mean? If you ain't having a good time, no matter what you're doing, you might as well not be doing it. But no, for real though, you gotta enjoy what you do. Whether you're messing up, you'll learn from it, you'll enjoy it, laugh about it later, go back and do it again way better. I'm gonna have to go around the counter like this, as you can see. Because this is how I do it, baby. I don't want to turn it. 
She was right. I should have just turned it. But you know, the way I'm doing it, the struggles as I'm making it, I'll go reflect on my pizza making and I will get better. I look like the green massive Hulk right now. In my iron addicts, shout out to my man C.T. Fletcher, sent it in the mail. He don't know me yet, but... He will. <laughs> I mean, it will soon. Yeah, damn it! You ain't gonna hire me. <laughs> it's crazy. crazy. <laughs> I know. I know. Right. I love it. Yeah, that's my baby. You like my crazy. I do. <laughs> he entertains me. I know, I just be trying to. Every day. Okay. My favorite thing to do is just laugh. Can't laugh about it. Oh, this is Mr. Cheese. Oh, he's a cheese man, by the way. He loves cheese. Cheese, mm -hmm. cheese, cheese. Everything cheese. String cheese, just not too much. I try to, you know, paste myself on it, but I love cheese. Just like a nice snack. Mm -hmm. I know it's not the best for you to like, you know, indulge in cheese, but I mean, it's just good. It's a yummy treat. Just try to keep it for the weekends, just like the wine and stuff. <laughs> this pizza looks better than mine. Mine looks skimpy. <laughs> well, you know. It's a competition. Let me make sure my edges are crusted in, because if not, the cheese is going to leak out. Mm -hmm. As she already told me. So now you know. As I'm meticulously rounding the edges, going to the corner, going around the last 75% of the pizza, I go win. I go win this contest. I go win the challenge pizza on Saturday, quarantine <laughs> style. As you see me doing the double tap with my pizza with the crust to make sure, ensuring that my burger cheese ain't going nowhere. All right, all right, hold up. All right. Really make sure this is ready to rock. She's going to try to raise y'all up and tilt y'all down so you can see what type of pizzazz we throwing on that pizza. Oh, all right. God. Hold on. You, you guys are tilted now. A little bit. Raised and tilted. <laughs> so, I'm going to put some tomato sauce first. Or do you want to start? Um, I'm, just, I'm thinking strategically right now. I'm just gonna go for it. Hey, there we go. Probably would have been good with like some pesto, but you know you gotta work with what you got during quarantine times. True stuff, true stuff. <laughs> Speaking of quarantine times. I know, that's true. Hey. I am curious what everybody wants to do because um Yeah, once quarantine is over, that's like the the ultimate freedom. <laughs> right. The the doors to the gates will open and everyone will just be flooding out to act like they ain't never lived before. But not anyways, like seriously, there's gonna be a lot of people feeding in to do things that they weren't able to do while this whole quarantine was going on, so. I'm curious to see, I mean, as far as what we'll do, I don't know, we got a list, a list of a decent amount of things that we're looking forward to being able to do again as normal. Hell, <laughs> my dings. Um, I don't know. It'll be nice to see. What are you What are you looking forward to doing, Beta? I okay. So um, we're like north northern San Diego, and so everything that is delicious is like more southern, except for Temecula. By the way, shout out Robert and Zoni and their glass and Jenna and Paul for last time they came. We went, <sighs> we went wine tasting, and if you can see on this cup, it says stolen from. Yeah. But it's really a souvenir. Vineyard but, style. Anyways, cheers to them. Nice, nice vineyard up there in Temecula. It's so nice, and they have amazing food. So if anybody ever goes up there, check them out. They're really good. But anyways, I'm looking forward to some pizza down in North Park, where um, Happy Calabria they have this Italian pizza, mm. and they have this like prosciutto de arugula, and I've tried a few others, but theirs is like spot on. They're so good. Yeah, it's a good little spot. They serve it, I mean, right out of the Italian style brick ovens, domes, you know, brick dome, 
um, a man down there. What's the chef's name? Leo or his Yeah, Leo. Leo's out there spitting hot fire. Mm -hmm. Every time those pizzas come out, man, I don't know what it is. He's Italian, but you would just think, like, damn, did you, did you, did you just get this in the mail from Italy? <laughs> but it's good stuff. Um, it would be nice to get some, you know, to eat out again and sit down in a restaurant setting and just enjoy, like, you know, going out on a, a Friday or Saturday or the weekend or, you know, even during the week just to eat out with friends again or just... Take these little kids out of the house. Yeah. Man. It's been a lot. <laughs> um, what else? What have I been looking forward to doing again? What have you been looking forward to? <sighs> um, what did I miss? Nothing much crazy as far as, like, weather that's rolling around here soon. Uh, what are we in April? So we got May to come up. So I'm not really too upset just because May gray in San Diego is where most of Southern California is. You know, it's gonna be cloudy and rainy and... Yeah, our summers doesn't really start until like August, July, yeah, maybe August. maybe June even though. But I mean, we get the nice days still too, so I yeah. can't really complain because most people will say, you guys are lying, like it's still nice there, which it is, but I'm talking about beach weather and just being able to have friends, have friends again. Um, <laughs> You know, get with together friends. with friends again, barbecue, or just relax on the beach, or you know, walk the bars of you know Del Mar or Encinitas. where else, Encinitas. You know, all those nice places to just you know kick back on a Friday or Saturday afternoon after you know working and just letting loose. So it's gonna be nice to just get back to that. So that's what I'm looking forward to. That and then of course a normal gym. I mean our gym here in the kitchen, side style over here, which you can't see because I can't let my secrets out. Even I'm in quarantine and I'm still getting it. Getting they, already, it. they already saw it. That's fine. They didn't see what I was doing with it. That's the point. So regardless, I'm, I'm looking forward to getting back into the gym with this heavy weights and being able to drop the dang bar when I'm done and not having to cater to my yeah. Neighbors and not piss them off underneath us. No I think, offense to y'all. I, I just think consider our action. I think our downstairs neighbors got some kids too, so yeah, we've been trying to. Yeah, we've been trying to just be nice about the times and how loud we are and all that stuff. But then also I'm looking forward to picking back up on our entrepreneurial uh, endeavors. Uh, I'm looking forward to opening this, you know, Southern California San Diego boot camp. Get it right or get it tight. But uh, yeah, we're gonna be doing that, doing some group trainings down there and uh, some of the parks, Balboa or whatnot. So working on getting that situated, but more to come, less details, cause you know you got some GCCs out there, great copycats gonna try to do the same thing. <laughs> That's your shit. I'll see me over here cheesing. Za, za, za. Za, 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 za. He still hasn't even put on the fresh mozzarella yet. <laughs> Oh, damn, I should have put the cheese on first. What? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing, you guys. <laughs> Babe, how do you not? It goes sauce, sauce, cheese, toppings. We're done. We got the sauce, we got the cheese, we got the toppings, and we done. We got the sauce, the cheese, the ronies, the mushrooms, and the olives. Hey, the sauce, the cheese, the ronies, the mushrooms, and the olives. <sighs> you just don't get it, do you, kid? I do. I know. You do, you do, you do. Meanwhile. Ooh. You he do, has, you do, you do, boo. I, I, got, <laughs> I gotta show you what he got over there because he has a whole battle of his little toys right now. Not cheesed out yet. Yeah, a little bit. So I already added on the sauce, the garlic, the mussels, the pistachios, the mozzarella, <laughs> olives. Did I say olives already? I think I did. Um, oh, dang it. I forgot these. Sun dried tomatoes. Yeah, she's looking it up. Mm -hmm. Me, I do my little dollops of fresh mozz. That'll go in a nice circular pattern here. This is just for the ones who get lucky to get that slice. It's either me or young Vincenzo. Mm -hmm. The extra cheese. Super cheesy. Yep, it's all good. We work it off. We work it off. Mm -hmm. We work it off. We work it off. I am definitely not putting any of this on my macros just because mm. it's a lot to count and I already know I went over today, so it's okay though. Yeah, plus we're doing a special pizza special, so <laughs> no restrictions. It's a competition. So pretty healthy. Now. Are you just hungry? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Alright, cool. More pizza for me now. Hey! Look at all these bronies, huh? 
Gotta zoom in on this because this looks delicious. Are you gonna use mussels and pistachios? No, 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 no. Keeping oh, it classic. Hold up, hold up. I'm keeping the classic. I gotta add them in then. Roni style. Mussels? Yes, mussels, boy. I will pop a put mussels on you. I don't want mussels on my mat. You can have. Honey, you're gonna eat from both of ours. Yeah, you can have the muscle pizza from mom. I want the classic nice. pepperoni and cheese. Pepperoni and cheese. Good girl. Okay. You already know how sometimes when you have a pizza, either you get it from the store or from a restaurant, and you go to take a bite and there's no pepperoni on that, that piece you're about to bite, you'd be like, man, mm. they just done, they got me on some pepperoni. I want like half my money back just because I went to take a bite and ain't no roni on that pizza, that piece. Just finished prepping the pizza, so this one is mine. Toppings have been topped. Houston, toppings have landed. <laughs> and this is Just Charles. Chaz is right here, Charlie boy, young Charles. Mm -hmm. And this is practically everything. That was it. That's it. That's how we did it up. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna go ahead in the oven for like, I think... Maybe 12 to 15 each. No, 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 it's, they're smaller, so maybe about... Yeah. We'll hit it at about 11 and then check it from there. I like to check early, so I'll be checking around eight minutes because I hate when pizza comes out extra crispy, extra dry, extra destroyed. Mm -hmm. Not about to happen right now on my watch, her watch. But, whoa there, whoa there. Pausing for a moment to show you guys what this little kid's up to over here. Yeah, all the cool toys. When our gym is not in use. First timer check. First time check. And. Oh, yeah, we're getting there, baby. You know, like I say, you gotta judge it by the color of the crust. Look at that golden brown. All right, so this is how they are out of the oven. I'm gonna add some of this on it the salmon. Sorry. Smoked salmon. My bad. Looks pretty good. All right, it in, folks. Oh man, chopped my head off. <laughs> All right, so we are gonna try each other's pizzas first, and then we're gonna try our own, and we're gonna see what we think. <sighs> All right, let's do it. Swap. Shoot, you might gotta try with more muscle on there. Hmm. You not cheesy. Can't go wrong. You now I got half your money back. Cheese, when the cheese string is pulling, you know you got a good pizza. You gotta try the crust too. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Dude. Ooh. Uh huh. It'll never be too cheesy. Hers is good though. The collection of flavors. I'll go first. Collection of flavors. Not bad. You know, presentation wise, fairly good. Actually, pretty bomb. <laughs> All colors are on there. They look really tasty with the pistachios, the sun-dried tomatoes, the presentation with the mussels scattered around. You felt like you were getting an even amount for slice. As you can see, I watched a fair amount of cooking go with the judges. But that um, no, was good, man. Really good. The sun-dried tomatoes have a nice pop, zing. The mussels, flavors, not too cheesy or, or saucy, so definitely a healthy pizza, but hey, man, if y'all want that recipe, <laughs> so, How about mine? this pizza, as I mentioned before, I don't usually like pepperoni, but this tastes bomb. This is really good. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like super cheesy, and then like you get a bunch of cheese, so I feel like that kind of like overpowers everything. <laughs> but I love cheese too, so can't, you know, can't go along with it. Then you get the olives and the mushrooms, and then the pizza dough already has like some types of seasonings in there. So. Mm -hmm. I think it all goes together. Hey. And this crust is stuffed. Stuffed with the fresh mozz. <laughs> nice and melted. It is nice and melted. Good job, eh? Yay, score Good for us. us. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I want, I want to try my pizza now. <laughs> Too. I didn't get to try it yet. Yeah. Let's see. Mmm. Fingers clapping good. 
Mm. You like it? Mm-hmm. Mm. Man. This would definitely be sold at a restaurant. Mm. Maybe probably charging people $30 for this kind of pizza. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. Mm-hmm. It is good. Good job, babe. Mm-hmm. Hey, so, you too. who won? I don't know. You want a taste test? I mean, um... I mean, we need a judge. Can't use cochise. Can't use Vincent. Hey, we can't judge, boy. Mm -hmm. Can you? Yeah. Runaway muscle. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. That muscle must be must be a quadricep. The quad is running. Yeah, this is good though. Don't joke. Mm-hmm. Let's check out the uh, the crust. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> as we pig out. Thanks for joining. As we enjoy our homemade pizzas. Um, you know, thanks for tuning into the show. Competition. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? A little friendly, a little razzle dazzle with a cooking style on a Saturday. Thanks for joining us, y'all. Mm -hmm. If you like, um, like, comment, subscribe, whatever, share. Just do something. All the above. All the above. Feedback. Give us some feedback. Yeah. You like it or not, cool. If you didn't, I don't care. It's all good. I ain't gonna, okay. I ain't gonna lose sleep. Mm -hmm. Damn it. Mm -hmm. We're gonna enjoy our pizza. Mm -hmm. Oh, I gotta send a recipe to my parents. Mom and Dad, mm -hmm. I'm gonna let y'all know. I would taste it. Oh, yeah. Yummy. Bye, guys. <laughs>